You see, for those who pursue the way of the wicked, their happiness is found in the next news cycle, the next stock update, the next election. Family, our hope, our joy is focused on nothing here. It's in Christ alone. We need to lift our gaze upward at his glory. And for some of us, it might mean we need to stop watching the news. For some of us, it might mean we, we get off social media. Maybe we go back to those kitty memes. I don't know. Something, anything but this. We need to lift our eyes upward and gaze on God alone. And so in light of that, when your delight is in the Lord and you seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, then God will give you the desires of your heart. When you have a heart that is set on the Lord and that only comes from the Lord, he then will bring you satisfaction, joy, and delight. And so when we commit our lives to him and trust in him, Psalm 37 says that he will act. It's a promise. If your delight is in the Lord, he will act and he will be faithful. David continues in verses 7 through 15. Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fret not yourself over the one who prospers in his way, over the man who carries out evil devices. Refrain from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not yourself. It tends only to evil. For the evildoers shall be cut off, but those who wait for the Lord shall inherit the land. In just a little while, the wicked will be no more. Though you look carefully at his place, he will not be there. But the meek shall inherit the land and delight themselves in abundant peace. The wicked plots against the righteous and gnashes his teeth at him, but the Lord laughs the wicked. One of the few times in Scripture where it says the Lord laughs, for he sees that his day is coming. The wicked draw the sword and bend their bows to bring down the poor and needy, to slay those whose way is upright. But catch this. Their swords shall enter their own heart, and their bows shall be broken. Wow. God knows how to finish things the right way. He knows how to bring justice. Like all those crafty, clever things, you're just like, man, I just need to say this. I need to do this, and they'll get theirs. No, they won't. You wait on the Lord. He is perfect because why? You can be still. You can rest because God is my avenger. God is my avenger, and because of that, I can be calm. I need not worry. I need not worry about all this stuff. This is just a distraction. This is white noise. I can be calm and still because God is my avenger. He will make all things right. Rather than worrying about people getting theirs, can we focus on the land that God is securing for you? Now, some of you are like, well, Brian, you don't get it. Here's the problem. A person who's so wicked actually wants my land. They want my house. They're suing me for it. Now, that's not what this is talking about here for us. Here, the Jews are God's covenant people. God gave them the promise of physical property for them of land, a land, a promised land flowing with milk and honey. Christians are now God's new covenant people. God's promise to us is not physical. It's spiritual blessing and favor. And that God will give you everything you need in Christ Jesus. If you have any question about this, Ephesians 1 speaks to it. Paul is saying, Blessed be the God and our Father, our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places, even as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before him. Guys, you... You are God's beloved children. Before time that God called you out as his, and he says, I will love them and will call them my own, and I will give them everything they need physically, and I will give them everything they need spiritually to do well and thrive. Does God always give us what we want? No, but he always gives you what he needs. 